In this tutorial, I want to look at doing a sort of platter. Um, so it's sort of going to be circular area in the bottom here that's flat and um, just oval and dimpled. So we'll start by doing a circle by center and just choose the top plane, lock it with the F3 and make that about 100. So um, I want to have that as the bottom one, so I'm just going to drop that down, say 30 mil, and then draw the ellipse by center on the same plane. So I'm just going to come out and offset it, and we'll make this 300 by 150 and <clears throat> I'm gonna um, create a second one um, say 280 by 130 and then I'll add a just a dimension to the center now we'll make that 100 offset what i'd also like to do is add in a um, line so i can get some um, symmetry on here um, so if i drop that there um, i'm going to use that to um, just create a, um, a a number of parallel planes what I meant to make construction so um, I'm also going to want to put in um, some um, arcs in here to curve the bottom edge on so we'll go tangent arc and lock this plane and come from here up to here That one's got the tangency on it. Uh, I'm not sure it actually created it, so let's just put that in. Give that a nice um, shape to it. So from here, um, what we're looking at doing is switching across to ordered. And I am going to create a loft from that circle up to the ellipse. And then if I then move on to um, a guide curve, I can pick up on these two. Sorry, do one first, accept that, and the second one. And then when you preview, you'll see that we've actually got it following those curves to give me um, sort of that nice shape that we're after. So as I said, I um, wanted to create some um, parallel planes, so we'll just come up here and just create one at the midpoint. Let's just make sure that we've got all snap points on. So we'll have one there and the other one at the end point. So um, what I'm going to use these for is just to give me some um, guidance on sort of making sure that when I cut away the um, inside area, um, it's going to give me uh, some good indication. So if I go into the surfacing tab, what I want to do is create an intersection curve of this on that plane there. And the same here. and this one there so that will give me my um, sort of shape on making sure that the inside doesn't actually cut through um, which is uh, a potential problem so from here um, let me create a uh, sketch on this front plane 
I'm just going to hide these two at the moment. So you can see that that intersection curve has given us um, some sort of guidelines on, on sort of where to work. Um, I actually want to come in on this pierce point here. So I've um, gone in and picked that up. And I'm just going to create, sorry, should have been an arc by three points. So there's my um, pierce point. And I'm just going to bring that somewhere in around there. I'm going to create another one just in here. Likewise, I want to bring that across and down. Um, see how I've picked up that so that it is going to stay um, Uh, symmetric and then likewise I want to drop this one out to that pierce point again and just drop that in there um, what I'll also do is use that midpoint and create a relationship there um, that sort of brings it up and um, I can then sort of adjust these out now. Uh, just take that one down a little bit. And just sort of get it into a better sort of shape. Um, for what we're after. So um this one is set let's try and make these tangent um, when you're doing your curves it's um, really important that they are um, all tangent continuous so um, that sort of gives me a sort of profile that I'm after. Um, so that sort of sits in there like so. So let's um, exit out of there. Um, what I'll also do is let's put that one back in. Um, create a another sketch on this plane here and like we did before we need to just do a arc by three points Again, we'll just sort of approximate where we want it to go. And then we can adjust these in to give us a sort of better profile of what we're after. Um, also need to make sure that these are tangent as well.
So um, we can sort of adjust that later, um, but that sort of gives us our um, control points for um, creating the um, bounded curve. So this one I'm going to use later. Um, so if we go back into uh, surfacing, um, I'm going to use the bounded curve. And we want to take that, accept it with the right mouse click, then use this as our profile. And just so that we can see what's going on, we'll hide the um, body and you can see that we've sort of got a sort of nice scooped shape. So from here, um, I'm going to do an insert sketch and use the parallel plane to come back to the midpoint. And again, another one. at the end point of this line here. And then when we go next and finish, um, you can see that we've got um, those extra curves in place. So if I now, um, you can see that we've actually had those put in as extra um, curves. So um, what I want to make sure though is that these curves intersect this line here. So um, I can come back in here and go and edit the sketch. And I want to connect. And again, you want to make sure that you get that pierce point to drop that in on there and let's finish out of there and then we can edit the other sketch doing the same thing so we can do a, um, a connect relationship Get that pierce point and that on there and that gives us our bounded curve which now sort of follows those profiles um, so if we turn on our design body um, and Let's turn off those sketches. And I can now use the subtract. So that's my body, except that. And that's what I want to remove. Click on the arrow to change the direction and accept it. And we can hide that now. And that gives us our um, sort of nice shape for our model. So I'm just going to show how to create the rib. So I'm going to start with a sketch on the top plane. And I'm going to use the ellipse by center point again. Just pick up off the center. I'm going to start somewhere out here. I could put sizes in if I'm sort of keen, but. And then I'll use the trim just to get rid of these two bits. So that's 
sitting above the surface. So if I go back into surfacing, go project, I want to project that onto here and project it downwards and you'll see that it's now sort of sitting on that surface and um, it gives me something to create my sweep on. So if I go to the sweep command and that's my guide curve. So go next, I'm on mul multiple um, paths and cross sections. So now I want to do a plain normal to curve starting at the beginning of the line. So again, you know, if I come into that point there and just put any old circle down, I can then sort of dimension it. So I'm just going to have something quite small to start with and come out of the sketch, finish. So I've got multiples, so I can then sort of create another one and I'm just going to put that at the midpoint and again stick with the um, circle this one I'm going to make about um, 1.5 make sure that it's sitting under the surface and then a final one which will come all the way to the other end. And again, I'll go back to that initial size. making sure that it's not catching up on any other geometry. So there we go, close. And right mouse click to finish. And if I turn off that projection, you'll see that we've now got that nice little rib coming in on here. So hopefully this will give you an indication on how we can use um, surfacing to create some sort of um, nice um, shaped objects.